How to create a Stripe account. Full tutorial. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with creating your own Stripe account. Stripe is something that you can use as your financial infrastructure for your business. Even if you're just starting out and you just want to sell maybe a couple of services or only one product. Stripe has multiple different types of solutions for multiple different types of people. Depending on your needs, Stripe has things like online payments, payment checkouts, payment links, as well as terminal checkouts, which means a POS system, radars for fraud prevention, and authorization. You also have amazing features that enable you to manage billing, taxes, revenue, invoicing, and much more. So let's get started with Stripe. To get started with Stripe, simply head on over to stripe.com. Then once you are in stripe.com, click on sign in on the top right. Once you click on sign in, this will lead you to the Stripe login page, but we want to create a new account on Stripe. So from the login page, you're gonna go on ahead and click on create account at the bottom. So it says new to Stripe, create an account. Click on create an account. And this will lead you to the sign up page on Stripe. Over here, you're just going to complete the information that is required. So this includes your email address as well as your full name. And then you have to add a suitable password as well for Stripe, like so. Once you have done that, you're going to click on create account at the bottom. And from here, you're just going to proceed with your info. I have created my account, so we're just going to proceed on over here. And once you have created your account on Stripe, you will be able to make sure to turn on 2FA, which allows you to provide more security to your account. We're going to log into our newly created account over here. And now we are being signed in on Stripe. So this is our profile on Stripe. When you first create an account to be able to complete payments, you have to complete your business information or your account information. So to activate payments, you have to set up your business completely. You can click on continue activating to proceed with the Stripe onboarding for your payments. This includes your business information, business type, personal and business details, and public details. Then after you have continued on from all of these steps, you can move towards adding or linking to your bank account, securing your account with 2FA, and then you can proceed with any extra add-ons that you may or may not need. And then you can review and finish all of this information. Once you have completed all of this information, then Stripe is going to remove this top bar, which is the test mode bar. You can turn this off from the top right once your business info is complete. Then you will see a simple new business that is created. And if you're looking to create a different business setup, then you can simply click on the top left where it says new business and click on create new account. You can even edit information about the current business or the default business that is added to your Stripe account. Now we know all about Stripe, but how can we actually use Stripe for our benefit? Well, first off, we need to understand its basic features. On the left, you have a simple menu bar, which includes a simple section for managing your balances. This will show you any money that is coming to your bank is on the way from your bank or your current Stripe balance. Then you will be able to see a simple transaction section where you can see any previous transactions. Then you have a customer section where you can manage any of your customers. You can build them with one-off or recurring invoices, subscriptions, as well as view customer history and view their order history with you. Then after that, you have a product catalog. In your product catalog, you have the ability to add a lot of products. So you can go on ahead and click on add product on the top right. Once you do that, you will be able to add the name of the product. So let's say that this is a smart keyboard that we're selling. 
And once you add the name of the product, you can add a description, a image, and then if you go on ahead, you can choose to click on more option and add taxes. Taxes can be really difficult to manage on your own, so adding them over here can simplify the process. Then you have the statement descriptor, which overrides your default descriptor. This is usually only going to be used when you are setting up subscriptions. So for example, if someone wants to buy a subscription of our meal box or a subscription of our clothing boxes, then they would be able to see this particular descriptor instead of seeing the other one. Then after that, we have our unit label. So in the unit label, it tells about, you know, how you sell your product. So if you have a very specific type of product, you can go on ahead and add a unit label. For basic products, that is not going to be, you know, it's not going to be necessary. But for things like subscription boxes, seats, as well as tickets, tiers, you can go on ahead and add descriptors. So it's just a bit more easier for your customer to understand what they're buying. Below that, you can add any additional information and then you add the type of payment this is. So this is going to be either a recurring or one-off. Then you add the price and then you select the currency. You even have other pricing options as well. And then you can click on next and click on add product to complete the product and add it to your product catalog. Once it is in your product catalog on the left, you have shortcuts as well as payment links. So in your shortcuts, you have billing overview and payment links. You can pin these so you have easier access to this. And then below that, you have your other features on Stripe, which include payments. Now, in payments, you have different sections. You have payment disputes, a radar, which is going to show you any type of fraudulent payment, and it shows you risk analysis. Then you have payment links. Payment links allow you to create a link for a checkout directly to a product. So you can go on ahead and add that over here. Then after that, you have your payment terminal, which is going to be your POS system. You can click on get started and you can add your POS system over here. You will see you can build a simple POS reader and you can order hardware as well. You can click on shop to buy the necessary accessories for your store. Then after that, you have a simple billing section. And then you have reporting as well as some other features such as tax, connecting, atlas, climate, and more. And just like that, you can get started with Stripe. The best part about using Stripe is that it's built for businesses of all sizes. Their basic standard fee for completed payments is 2.9% with 30 cents on every successful charge on a domestic card. Then... With all of the amazing features, this is really no price to pay at all. And it is going to show you different features have different pricing. So for example, if you want to add buy now, pay later options, such as Afterpay, Klarna, Affirm, Zap, that starts at $5.99 with 30 cents per transaction. So the cut for Stripe is slightly more on those. And you will see more details in their pricing section. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.